it definitely has been a while. Been a while, been a while. And just making sure that I'm live. And I am. Welcome back to another edition of Mass Effect. And I gotta say, it's just been so long. At least about a week. A week since I played this. Oof, I had to take care of some stuff. I had to take care of some stuff. But now, being back on track, I think I'm going to be finishing this tomorrow. I'm going to be finishing Mass Effect, planning on what I'm going to be doing after that. Like, I had, like, boo -boo. Trying to get more organized, trying to be to where I can be more pers per, uh, consistent with everything that is going on for a guy, you know. Okay, quick save. But hopefully everybody is doing good out there. It's just, it's been so long since I live stream. It's just been so long. Here's our girl, Commander Shepard, our Fem Ship, who is chilling about. I think I talked to everyone last gameplay. Okay. So for this, so for this gameplay, I am going to go as long as possible before I start work. And happy Friday to everyone out there. Okay. I should probably talk to her. Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down in that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper <laughs> invasion front will hit them soon. Um. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension project helps gifted young biotics. If it had been open 20 years ago, I bet you'd have been there. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. <laughs> I don't got no other option. This sounds like a job for an evac transport. Oh. Right, and a Turian transport oh, responded to their distress call. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Mm. Good catch. Maybe you belong here after all. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer, good catch. <laughs> Thank you, Commander. Okay. I kind of had to fix my screen there because I couldn't see the bottom choice. I had to adjust my picture settings. Well, just mainly adjust the... Uh, seems like a good guy. He'll get his people moving in the right direction. He's a good guy with his homeworld on fire. All he committed to is this war summit. A war summit we have to hope, since the Solarians won't even let a Krogan on one of their ships. I have not... Like... I, the last mission I got off of was with Garrus. Garrus. Mm. Yes, Commander? I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch. 
But Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Paladin, then I give you my word. That's all. Of course, Commander. I am just still getting back into the feel of the game. It has been a week. I am going to be completing this game very soon. Probably I'm going to be completing it tomorrow because this is probably all I'm going to be playing until... Uh, until I can end up figuring out another game to play. Because Mass Effect is very addicting of a game. There's just a bunch of games I've just been wanting to play. Um, you know what? Let's just do a mission. Let's just get at it. stuff. And there's a reaper on top of that. Forgot about that. Meet with the Deflect Mats. Meet. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna meet with the Deflect Mats. <coughs> Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. All right, Shepard, quiet. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard veteran you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the Genophage. Oh, our boy. Our boy Absolutely Rex. Absolutely I mean, not. Yeah, Rex. The Genophage is non-negotiable. Goodness gracious, it's been so long since I've... Uh, it's Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatras? Wait, my because my changed. people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians or the Asarians or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The Genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Uh, what? Um, I forgot. My female ship actually agreed with it, though. That decision saved the galaxy. The Rachni were devouring everything in their path. And what the Rachni started, the Krogan tried to finish. We simply traded one enemy for another. I won't let history repeat. Curing the Genophage will doom us all. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The Genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. But I do agree with Rex, though. It has to be a cured A Solarian now. scientist mainly grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. Wow. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? 
It could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? How will curing the genophage benefit my people? What does it matter? Pelavin is burning right now. Earth is burning right now. If it takes a cure to cement this alliance, then that's what I'm doing. She's right. The hard truth is we don't have a choice. Give Rex what he wants. Or none of us will survive long enough to know who was right or wrong. The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be... ...will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. Oh, come on. My Commander Shepard is not a bully. She just knows how to get things done. <laughs> I'm choosing Javik and I'm choosing Edie. Because this would be a good experience for Javik to come out and see how the world is. And this would be a good experience for Edie because she needs to test out the new body that she has. Oh yeah, which, which, what, what is the name of this gun? I really like it. I forgot that that probably oh I forgot to change their weapons but all good. Six. I'm gonna end up there's an order that I wanna do that. Okay, let's get at her, let's get at her. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. They must slaughter the Salarians if they get in our way. Who's that? He's a Prothean. Sometimes I'm not sure if the Normandy's a warship or a traveling freak show. <laughs> as long as he can hold a gun. Commander, I have the Salarian base on sensors. Set her down. Because <laughs> I think Rex at this point would actually believe it. Oh, I should have brought Liara in Commander, here. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dalatras authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex? No! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? Oh my goodness, Rex knows biotics. He normally shoots, he does not show that ability often. I mean, not at all, actually, since I've been playing this. Hold! Stand down! Hold your fire! Commander Shepard, restrain your colleague. We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. The Solarian hospitality always come with sharpshooters. This is an insult to the Alliance. These understand. No matter what some politician might say, Krogan are still considered a hostile race. I wonder why. However, on behalf of the Solarian Union, I apologize. But we must insist that Krogan remain under guard. <laughs> and if we insist otherwise... You'll have another war on your hands. Anything goes wrong, and all bets are off. <laughs> I 
I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. I remember that thing and the quote that they would say. Careful! Careful. Watch the containment shield! I believe Liara is well acquainted with that species. They were much smaller in my cycle. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Seems like a good place to hide things you don't want the galaxy to know about. Like female Krogan. I'm aware of how this must look, but it was for their own good. They were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. We brought them here to stabilize their condition. This whole planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Attention biolabs. Please prepare for yon specimen arrival. A cyber analyst over in Intel told me the Turians can't hold out much longer. He's hearing the Reapers have them against the wall. The Turians have the biggest fleet in the galaxy. And we're only a few Mass Effect Ready. relays away from the whole mess. Oh, wow. Rex, how you old? This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. I gotta disagree, Rex. There's nothing wrong with that. That's not soft. They just want to do more understanding rather than Air defense is be about craft skirting our brute force. You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready. Send confirmation yeah. to the Dallas. Get Commander Shepard, I'm Lieutenant Tolan. I've heard about your exploits against the Reapers. All of it good, I hope? Your mission on Vermeer holds special renown in STG. The assistance you lent our team tipped the balance. But now, hmm. I'm not so sure. What did you hear about Vermeer? You helped Captain Kirahe's squad destroy Saren's cure for the genophage. Which is ironic, considering you've come here to safeguard another cure. I wonder if Kirahe's men died in vain. Saren was raising an army of Krogan slaves to fight his war. This is different. Is it? Seems to me that's the same thing the Turians want. Are the Solarians ready to fight the Reapers? Best way to win a fight is to avoid it altogether. But now, this business with the Krogan, you may have drawn us into it. The odds of your world avoiding this conflict are remote. We'll see. It sounds like you don't agree with what I'm doing here. You're upsetting a balance of power that stood for a thousand years. And if you succeed, we're ill-prepared to face a resurgent Krogan. The Solarians uplifted the Krogan. You wanted them violent. And then we neutered them when we realized our mistake. The same mistake you're making all over again. One hopes with Erdnot Rex as the Krogan leader, their tendency for violence can be controlled. Hope is hardly a winning strategy. Good day, Lieutenant. I hope you can keep it that way, Commander. <laughs> <laughs> Did he really say that? Like, we're talking about hope, and then he's like, I hope you can keep it that way. Dang, dang, uh, forgot. Not, our orders are clear. Ensure the smooth handover of the Krogan detainees. Who gave the order? Our superiors. That's all that matters. But they're gonna cure the genophage. Everything we've done to stop the Krogan will be for nothing. And I want your opinion out from Moby. Until then, stay sharp and keep your mouth shut. Oh, man. The good times were...
Mass Effect would take those unexpected turns, and even in the game, the third one, it really done so much with choices, and not only with choices, but it actually made the story more fun to play now. But, I wish they could at least continue it to the fourth game. Where your character could at least take this some elevator pleasure. down. Someone will. What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. Oh my goodness, I can read that. Base personnel must remain on site until further notice. All specimens are accounted for, sir. Shepard, excellent timing. Good to have you here. Morden? Mm -hmm. Eyesight still sharp. Surprise, understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. His speech is strange. Appropriate. Excellent. You're back with STG? Special consultant. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Wow. So... Helped a female Krogan. Fed information to Clan Erdnot. Encouraged political pressure to free female. You must be Rex's inside source. Yes. Can explain later. Security warning's not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. You're not surprised to see a protein? immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. These... Didn't survive. But what about Malin's research? I thought we saved it. Indeed, data saved, but not complete. Lacks crucial details to reconstruct cure, but still useful for synthesizing from living tissue. Couldn't save them. I need that cure to get the Krogan to support me. Understood, but don't have it yet. Need to hurry. One survivor can synthesize cure from her tissue. She's still here. Yes, last hope for Krogan. If she dies, genophage cure... Problematic. Please be careful. Krogan's slow to trust. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? That would serve no tactical purpose. Erdnot Rex and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Have the Salarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Did the best we could. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? You're the key to a truce between the Krogan and Turians. So, I'm useful to you. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Shepard, it's Rex. Survive's troops are attacking the base. Get the females out of there now! Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimens. Wow. Objection noted. Now, please release Krogan. Wow. I thought he killed him. Need to monitor pod if it clears quarantine procedures. Meet us at next checkpoint, Shepard. Likely Cerberus opposes Genophage cure. Hmm. Morden, no scratches. Everything depends on her. Understood. Get to elevator, Shepard. The only thing I miss is not talking to Morton more on the Normandy. I should have talked to him more because he even had a song. This to isn't sing. the time to delay, Commander. 
Okay, thank you, Javik. It's gonna be so unstoppable. The Kroken will be slaughtered if we don't end this soon. Shepard, Summer is in vicinity. Hurry! We're on our way. Thank you, ED, for being so supportive of your friend. I can't run through that. Oh, yeah, okay. I I never knew that was going to end up happening. I never knew ED was going to stick up for Liara. It's like, careful, there goes the next Shadow Broker. And then Garrus would point a joke at... I didn't, uh, what did you say, I think, um, I think he murdered, Just gotta get a chance to upgrading it. Oh, more. Are you okay? Containment shield is holding. We'll try to repair if necessary. Can't speak for Krogan's health, however. Your bargaining ship is still alive. Females kept secret. Possibly a mole in the STG could be indoctrinated. If no Krogan alliance with Turians, Reapers left unchallenged. We'll do more than challenge them. Meet us at next checkpoint. Server is likely to target. Hurry, next checkpoint. 
easy. I love this gun. Can I just upgrade it to where it would be a one hit kill? It'd be so much easier. Oh my goodness, all these bands. So what? Okay, I don't know what to Be nearby. Cerberus targeted. Way too easy. All these Varens. What are you doing in here? Okay, and where do I go? Do I go over that? Okay, I can't hop over it. Where do I go? Oh yeah, I forgot. No, it says I gotta go. Oh. Dr. Solis's theory is likely true. Cerberus was informed of the Krogan's presence. Their response time is too rapid. Every war has its traitors. No! I thought I could save him. You know what? Let's ice him up. Oh wait, I don't have squad. I don't have the squad thing yet. did some amazing things for Mass Effect 3. I gotta go up. So now I don't have to worry about the damn codes matching. Oh, I should have changed this gun. Oh my goodness, I should have changed that.
a power conduit must be nearby. Gun. But dang it, it kind of runs out a bit too fast. Shit, if I had an upgrade. That weapon, or I don't know if Edie can carry that. Should have done that. Taking out their little toy. Okay. Oh, man, I don't got no heavy artillery. This thing ain't nothing, Rex. There's my gun. 
They can take it out. Take it out for me, guys. Okay, you guys did it. I was legit looking for enemies, like I couldn't see where they were and my enemies, and I mean not my enemies, my allies took them down. She can I can handle, handle myself, Rex. Women. And she, and she speaks for herself. <laughs> oh my god, I loved it. I loved it. I loved legit just did what the collectors are mainly doing to his people. Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good. Hack it out. You have the female, Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure, there's no alliance. Morden, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen from female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a sample. You're looking at it. Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morton. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to Genophage Modification Project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. 
We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust neurotransmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. Rex, I hope you realize Turians are dying while we sort this out. The genophage has been killing the Krogan for a thousand years. This is how it feels. We'll be in medbay if you need to speak. Eve requires more tests. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Suggest speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it... in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss... somewhere else. <laughs> I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. Oh wow, Shepard has a lot to deal with. And all I'm trying to do is just make sure everybody's at peace. You think Valerians would have a base on their homeworld secured better? Nah, they were solid. Cerberus has Reaper tech. Compared to those upgrades, the Valerians might as well have been throwing rocks. Commander, we've got new reports of Cerberus activity on Tachanka. I've marked it on the galaxy map. Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. And this is just with a skeleton crew. You should see this ship when it's fully staffed. Oh, uh, no, Commander. I'm not complaining. This is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie. Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out in the shoebox. Okay. See how Joker's handling things. The Krogan and the Turians really should get behind the Alliance. They've got so much in common, like shooting things and not wanting to die. Now that's about it. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there. He's a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. <laughs> It is good you came by. I have questions about the genophage. You and everyone else. What do you need, Edie? Yes, Shepard? Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. It's optics space forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. You look like you're in the middle of something. 
I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control <laughs> from the sabotage programs is more precise than <laughs> standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. That was a joke. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, <laughs> this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Why did that seem interesting with male ship rather than femme ship? And that was quite the conversation. Those are the extra dialogue lines that they mainly would give for those. Commander, you may want to check in on shuttle pilot Cortez down in the armory. I'm going down to the armory. from Ferris Fields months ago I lost a lot of friends that day I lost my husband I grieved said goodbye made my peace you were talking with him when the collectors hit I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony Robert managed to get outside of the field the collectors put up Instead of running, he called me. I'm sorry for your loss, but you can't let it get to you. I did move on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Mm -hmm.
my goodness, sorry if I'm taking this time to customize my character, but... Something I did not know. Wow, I did not know, I did not know that I could be able to change that. I did not know that. Okay, mortify. Oop. Uh, reduces damage. Hopefully that, oh, personal t touch, thank you. Okay, sorry if I'm taking this time to upgrade, but oh my goodness, I did not know. Okay, I, they're upgraded weapons, oh my goodness. My goodness! That definitely is going to end up being helpful. I didn't know there was a certain level. Oh my goodness! I did not know there was a certain level with this! Oh my goodness! I, I am taking advantage. I am taking advantage. I guess this is just in case that the crew go through any craziness. I don't need a thermal clip. Um, at least turn a assault rifle upgrade. These could come in handy. Somebody can use that of the crew. Oh my goodness. I could have... I probably could have bought those. Um, I don't think I got that. The Eagle, I think it was. I could have bought that. Oh, one of those. I got a guy, but I'm still good. This is what it'd be like when you have these upgrades.
Wait a minute. Do I have the right weapon? Yes, I do have the right weapon. The five. Okay. My weapon is fully upgraded. To the point where I should be good now to start missions. But I gotta go to one more area. I have to go see Garrus. Oh, sorry if that took so long, people. I would say, like, if you did skip, it's okay. It's alright. It was just trying to make sure that I have everything taken care of. Shepard. Hmm. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now. But I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long's it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. Pretty soon, blind hope is all we'll have left. And I hate being blind. That's all for now, Garrus. Anytime. At least I got the unlimited stamina. Alright, I'm gonna end up doing a mission. I don't want to spend too much time just dilly dallying We gotta mainly get straight into the action. Oh yeah, I have to go see, um, I gotta go see someone. Oh, I gotta go to the Citadel. I don't want to meet. I don't want to meet Arya because I think they're starting to get the Omega. The Omega thing. The Omega DLC. Because I want to end up making sure that I got everyone on my crew. Because I think. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. 
But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. Took her long enough to get the hint. I don't know whether or not if I did the right thing. Because, I mean, she's wanting to change the name of the hospital, but it's like, this is not, nothing to worry about. We were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help with evac. The enemy was landing. Just scouts, the Turian things, a few of the big ones. We were spread over half the continent, getting colonists to shuttles, wiping out husks. It sounds like you were doing good work. Could I have a gun? I'd feel a lot better. Just tell me what happened at Tiptree. They don't really show much in that conversation. Well, they show a lot in that conversation, but they only show so little when you're right there. You have to keep yes, visiting. I'm trying to place a call to Griffin Academy. They have biotic app interfaces. I may be able to adapt for Asari use. No, it won't connect. It says the station's communication system is offline. Of course. If these interfaces make our commandos better on the field, I'll pay for as long as you need. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. I know the Ismar frontier isn't safe. Yes, yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. Medina, Medina. I'd like an answer, Major. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, now more than ever. You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Udina? Hey. Shepard, hey. You, you just missed snack time. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. No problem. What did Udina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? That was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. I got you this. Wow, thanks, Shepard. That's really great. Just a little pick-me-up. Maybe when I'm out, we can crack it open and celebrate. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell them. I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. I'm a doc. Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. You doing okay? My implant got a little rattled. So, Doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. I'm glad you asked me to come. It's good to see you're gonna be okay. Thanks. You almost died on my watch. It was horrible to see. I want you to be straight with me then. So I just want to make sure, after Mars, after Horizon, you and me, we're good. We've been through hell together. At each other's backs. That kind of bond is hard to break. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listen, too. We went through Asher's death together. Yeah. We did. So what do you say? <sighs> Are we good? You and me. We can butt heads. But for now, yeah. We're good. I'll take that. What's going on? Is there something else? Yeah, maybe. Was there something between you and Garrus? <laughs> Our fight on Horizon really threw me. You just shut me down. I know. I just couldn't believe my eyes. There you were, alive. Can we, um... Can we just put this behind us? Please. Feel like we've cleared the air? Yeah, you know, I'm... I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but... I've been wrong about you. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Caden. We need you at 100%. Will do. Thanks for coming. What type of break-off was that? 
Something else, Shepard? Give me the update, Major. <laughs> Major, yeah. Congrats. There's obviously been a lot going on. Anderson asked me to take over a spec ops program. First Special Operations Biotics Division. We're recruiting the most talented human biotics from around the galaxy. What's the focus? Covert high-risk missions. Turn it down at first. I mean, teaching? <laughs> I prefer to get my hands dirty. Anderson can be pretty persuasive. Yeah, bit of a hard ass, but you can't argue with this kind of experience. Wouldn't take no, said it had to be me. With your history, you're the perfect choice. True. Human biotics are... Well, we're different. Freaks, even. Most people in the galaxy still see us that way. But accepting it, embracing it, can be the difference between success and sitting at home in your PJs, taking red sand. But I don't have to tell you that. <laughs> Where's your family? Are they safe? My family? My parents live in Vancouver, but Dad's family owns an orchard in the BC interior. They were headed out there on a shuttle the day of the attack. Heard from them? No, not yet. But I hope... Huh, I'm hoping Dad's alliance training has kept them safe. Must be killing them not knowing where I am. I should probably get going. Thanks for coming by. Take care, Caden. Some missions now. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Oh, I didn't even know that there were. Okay, there are actually optional places you can actually go. I actually now arriving at could start. I'll go see her in a moment. Actually, I'll go see her now since I've never seen this bar in the original Citadel. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Aria. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole a Mega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. 
How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. If it were me, I'd want revenge. Glad to see we think alike. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. Okay. Oh, that just happened. I think James is over here. Nope. Commander, nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You think I don't like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, though. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably? And you fill out a uniform like nobody's business. I'm just saying. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them. Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them... You're still larger than life. Maybe I should expect it. There aren't a hell of a lot of people who've done what I have. And now they get to meet you in the flesh. You should buy them around. It'll impress them. <laughs> I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On her. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Lola. I was hoping you'd know that one. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. <laughs> Get too drunk. I don't need to go to the lab. I don't need to do any of that. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Actually, I think at this point. Area 
tagged of interest to you are highlighted on the elevator menu. Well, I gotta see it and search for every little speck because there's some stuff I gotta log into my journal from these side conversations, a dozen of them. Yes, I have spoken to the fiend Turian. Why do you refuse to help me? If it's possible that my son Balal is alive, I will not rest until he's found. I fully understand the situation. Of course, I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is M.I.A.? My son, Balal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. It doesn't look like there's nobody talking over here. You know what, since I see my hat on. Spending all day on this game tomorrow. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk to you about releasing Jonas Adaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing, I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Hmm. Because there's somebody standing outside the office. This guy. Commander Shepard. John Dumbau. Special Tactics and Recalls. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Wow. 
Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. I'm dealing with a galaxy-wide threat right now. You're sure this is worth the time? Absolutely. The Hammer are a major financial power. Plus, their territory buffers Solarian space, which would be vulnerable otherwise. The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting? I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. Uh, thank you. So, remember when you helped me get Keiji's gray box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. So you approve of Val? Absolutely. He's a good Spectre. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. I am not wanting to do all this. I am probably going to do one more mission and then call it. Because I have to go to work. Kind of a bit early than usual. Destination. All One I'm trying moment. to do is just get all these like little things out the way so they can be saved in my map for later. Now arriving at docking bay E24, emergency civilian housing. Okay. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know, all right. But they can't land here. I suppose. Okay, sure you can't squeeze in a few more people, officer. And who the heck are you? Oh, Commander Shepard. Uh, if that's what you think, I'll, uh, I'll find them some room. So my family can dock? Commander Shepard says your family's cleared. Just tell them to hurry. I... Thank you, Commander. Thank you so much. No problem, Commander Shepard. Better, better, better. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Docking Bay E-24. This level has been repurposed to accommodate the recent influx of civilians on the Citadel. Please ensure that you observe proper security protocols at all times while in this area. How many people are stranded here? Any personal information pertaining to residents of these facilities cannot be revealed without prior authorization. However, be assured that the facilities allocated by Citadel Council are more than adequate for current requirements. Adequate? Absolutely. Furthermore, relocations requests are being given top priority. The Citadel is dedicated to ensuring optimal solutions for all. Hmm. I just want to know one thing. Can you tell me about the security protocols you mentioned? 
Due to the high influx of civilians and new streamlined processing measures, travel from this area is carefully monitored. These are merely precautionary measures to ensure the safety of permanent Citadel residents. Thanks, Avina. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. So many OCs that went missing. Th th those people gotta be OCs. <laughs> Happening. We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting Reapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war. It's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Mm. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. It's nothing I can't handle. I don't doubt it, but remember to come up for air. And not just because all these people need you. Because I need you. We just got a report that another ship made it off the I have a copy of a Shepard VI. Oh, yeah. The one based That's on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the this demo is going version to be working. Home for a while. Hmm. Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Looks like you've been in some fights lately. And still me in a combat mech, and I can do some pretty crazy damage myself. I find the best advanced battlefield strategy is to have more bullets than the other guy. <laughs> Technically, it's thermal clips, not bullets. But who says I filled them with five detachable heat sinks? I sound 7% more like Commander Shepard than any other bootleg VI copy. Wait, wait. Forget the mech. Install me in one of those flying drones and stick a cane on it. <laughs> Why is the facial expression stuff like that? You want help solving your problems? Get me out of this damn demo mode. Listen, if you don't have the credits, just tear me out of the terminal or something. Ever wrestle a Varen for money? Well, so long. I don't really sound like that, do I? Looks like you've been in some fights lately. 
And still me a combat mech, and I could do some pretty crazy damage myself. Man, that shepherd sounds so ruthless. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You won't have to worry about Oraka for long. Love it. Commander Shepard taking out the Blue Suns trash, huh? That Arya is sure something special. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What a creep. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Oraka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Oraka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Oraka, see if you could get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of it. No need to candy-coat it, Arya. Ah, oh, Shepard, you think you know me so well. I just don't see why you couldn't tell me the details yourself. Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Yeah, he mentioned that, uh... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. <laughs> what the heck? Just came out of nowhere and just started staring at the wall? Okay. Okay, I think I am all good here. I am now going to head out. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Jeez Louise. I can't believe this much. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. Okay, I don't hear anyone talking. Shepard, there you are. Ah, oh, Miranda. Listen, honey, please. This is how it has to be. Everyone's going through this. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. I'm all right. We'll figure out some way to even the odds. We have to. Everybody has a weakness. Even the Reapers. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. Shepard? There's... something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... 
Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. I have no doubt you'll find her, Miranda. Thanks. I'm already working on it. I have to figure this out. You will. <laughs> it's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. Hmm. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No, he doesn't. Mm. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. Alrighty, so yes, return to the Normandy. Enough with being on the Citadel. It usually what more unread messages? Secure communications with the Turian and Salarian governments and added their combat data to our boards. Hopefully, it'll give us some idea of what's going on. Let's see, we orbit. Extract Turian survivors. I guess that's the next thing, extract turn survivors. Oh, I can go to my map. To see the priority, what is the priority? What journal? There are so many! Christian Academy. I I don't even know where it is on this map. Oh, that's the priority. Tachunka. Okay, fitness. Hmm. So many of these damn upgrades. Okay, this time I'm taking Garrus and Liara. Got my weapon. 
Okay, except and Garrus. There's Garrus. It's good that the crew also get gets the upgrade. There's so many upgrades. This crash site's a nightmare. Looks like Rex was right about Reaper Scouts. Edie, any further intel? The mission brief identifies the Turian commander as Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. Victus? Primarch, son. <laughs> Try to raise him. For a Turian commander, what happened here is... Let's just say the Turian code is not forgiving. And that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, ma'am. The Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Edie, did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th platoon. We're pinned by Reaper harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. This sounds bad. Let's move. Looks worse than I feared. A secret Turian mission on Tachanka is especially odd. Thoughts? Nothing has come up through any of my networks. Charges so it recharges so quickly. I love this. Escape pod. Our first casualties. Looks like they survived the crash, but then a harvester took them out. Liara. Can she? Oh yeah, okay, she can also. Okay. Died in the explosion. And then pulled out to be eaten by husks. Shepard, I hear gunfire. Okay. I have a visual on the enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in top. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side for once. I like it. Exactly. 
Exactly. Let's go. Mm. ASAP. Being the son of Adrian Victus is a lot to save them all. Excellent work. Seems there's no need for that. I have no need for it. I love the gun that I got. It's just like I'm using a heavy, a heavy weapon. Looks like we got the job. Follow my lead. Good I that think Garris. we saved all those men. This way. It is also good that Garris has one too. Over here. This way. Do you read, Commander? Repeat, do you read? Shepard here, what's your status? We're in deep. Commander, what's your ETA? Hang tight. We're on our way. Shepard here. Just saw Harvester's drop a lot of enemies in your path. Understood. There's the Harvester. It's retreating. Okay, let's pick it up. It's important we don't lose this squad. It seems that the Turians are playing with political dynamite here. Maybe they should inform the Krogan. Krogan Turian animosity is ancient and intense. It's inborn. And I need them to work together, so let's not complicate things. <sighs> All right, let's move. Not one more soldier dies here today. <laughs> 
Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Lieutenant. What's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Making hard decisions and dealing with the consequences. That's what being a leader is about. You're right, Commander. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? Sacrifice is what we sign on for. They know that. And so should you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? What's wrong with you? Inspire them, threaten them. Lieutenant, if Cerberus succeeds, the Reapers divide and conquer us. And then that is on them. Listen up. This isn't about your fears and grievances. Fears? We're only afraid of the next messed up order you give. Irrelevant. Court martial death and dishonor awaits anyone who walks in his duty. We are Turian. We finish what we came here to do, or we die trying. Shuttles arrive any minute, so get your asses in gear. Let's move! Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, I've given you a second chance. Don't screw this up. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Cerberus bomb. 
What the hell is going on, Commander? And what are the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan-Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is, we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Primarch Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? If I had to choose between our alliance and lying to save my people, I'd choose Earth every time. Even if it cost you the Turian fleet? I see your point. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. Shepard, test verified. Results promising. Can synthesize for universal Krogan immunity. Good. Then you can put your knife away. The cure's ready? No, still need transmission vector. Cure useless, unless given to entire species. You infected them with the disease easy enough. Is the cure that different? No. Keeping modalities similar when possible. Easiest way to develop cure rapidly. Groundwater? No, too slow. Voluntary inoculation risky. Population too scattered for airborne. Unless... Wait, yes! The Shroud. Constant global dispersion of air particles. Built by Salarians to repair atmosphere of Tuchanka. Also hmm. used by Turian. We used it to secretly spread the genophage virus. It ended the Krogan rebellions. I'd be careful who you tell that to. If you're gonna infect an entire population, that's the way to do it. Unless you're part of the population. Yes, yes, but useful now. Original genophage strain still in storage at Shroud facility. Can use it as transmission vector, then use Shroud to blanket Tuchanka with cure. You clever little pie jack. That's our best shot, right there. Then finish your preparations and be ready to go, Morton. Of course. Ready when you need me. We'll be in Med Bay with Eve until then. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. Shepard, damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir? I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. Then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. So I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up for air? Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the Crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I don't know how you deal with all the politics. It's a pain in the ass. As I recall, you gave me the job. Yeah, sorry about that. Just remember, the more they complain, the more you know you're accomplishing something. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver. And now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole, just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. 
Nothing motivates a soldier like losing their home. Trying to take it back makes an even better one. You take care, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. Definitely a lot to do in order to get to Tachunko. I'm grateful for all you've done, Commander. The situation with the Krogan is already complicated enough. Not as complicated as waking up one day and being told you're the new Primarch. <laughs> yes, thank you. I'm beginning to understand why leaders so often seem lonely. Worst case scenarios aren't just theories. They're what you'll be dealing with five minutes from now. That's why it helps to have allies. Yes, you're right, of course. Is there something I can help you with? That's all. Of course, Commander. Hell of a show down there on Sir Kesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. <laughs> you said one of your squads is missing. They were scouting out the Rachni Relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Morton. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. Nah. The Arachnite Queen. She was Citadel when we were there on leave. She'd never know there was a war on. They'll know soon enough. All those refugees have to go somewhere. Commander, Cerberus is attacking civilians on Benning. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. Commander, whatever you did on Tachanka has the Turians sending a lot of messages. What are they saying? Sorry, it's encrypted. Cracking it would take at least a week. And it would be wrong. Interface yet. Missing scouts. I'll do this one and then back of the screen. Okay, let's see. This time. I want to bring Edie. I really like her sense of humor. And I feel like I want to bring Liara. So I wish we could bring three people. That would be nice. I forgot that.
Have we learned anything, Shepard? Our backup's waiting for us at the drop point. Arlac Company, Krogan Commandos. That's correct. They are an accomplished unit. Made famous for their decisive action liberating a colony from Batarian pirates. Good to hear. Other than that, there's been no word from a team of Krogan scouts since they went through the Rachni Relay. There are many reasons that communication with the scouts could be disrupted. We don't know much, but no Rachni activity has been reported. Still, it's troubling there are rumors at all. It's been years since you released the last Rachni Queen on the condition she'd disappear forever. Her race was all but extinct. She would not risk annihilation by starting a war. Just be ready for anything. Yeah, shuttle just arrived. You better get moving, Team 2. See anything, let me know. Grunt? Shepard? <laughs> Shepard! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Didn't those idiots lock you up? They did. Put me in lockdown to keep the Batarians off me. Didn't want problems with the Council while they prepared for war. But the situation changed. Yeah, they got bigger problems, all right. That's why I'm out here running Arlac Company. They're tough, think they're invincible. Reckless, but effective. <laughs> Sounds familiar, Grunt. How'd you go from being new and unproven to your own command? <laughs> wasn't easy. When Rex put Arlac Company together, he needed a leader who represented the future of our species. Thanks to you, I completed my rite of passage on Tachanka and became part of Clan Erdnot. I was an equal. And being the strongest, I was chosen to lead this honored company. I bet some didn't like a tank bred Krogan being in charge. I collected a few scars earning my place here. These Krogan respect me. You were a pain in the ass, Grunt. But if your Krogan are half the soldier you are, we might make it out of here. Hey, <laughs> glad you're here to crack some heads, Shepard. Hard to believe this might be Rachni. Seems crazy. The Rachni. A chance to face the old enemy? <laughs> Impossible to resist. We don't know if the Rachni had anything to do with this. We're here to find the scouts. I didn't see any signs of activity during our approach. Agreed. But this place smells wrong. Like a bad wound. Our scans show the tunnels down there lead to a large central point. If we're lucky, it's a nest. A nest might be fortunate. We could end this here. <laughs> Our luck company, move out! Grab what you need, Shepard. Meet me at the scout camp ahead. Sounds good. Take what you need and move out. Grunt has done well for himself. Tank bred genetics combined with experience. the only weapon that I would want to use in the game. There's Grunt. Ready, Shepard. We're right behind you. Just about. Right? 
Shepard! You in one piece? Looks like we're all okay. Keep in radio contact. On our way! Something up ahead. I see it. Grunt, got a body of a scout here. Been dead a few days. Yeah, if he has his weapon, grab it. You won't need it anymore. So Is that good. webbing? Looks like it. At least I can still. <clears throat> Hmm. Stay close, it's easy to get separated. Agreed. Everybody be ready. Anyone see that? Confirmed. Shepard! Some kind of pod ahead. I guess in the rack now got turned into, well they got indoctrinated, same way like the husk, same way like the reap, not the reapers, same way like the turnings, the same way like the, wow. Question. Reapers have been here. Agreed. Let's find out why. Do way better without the flamethrower. A barrier, Shepard. Copy that. It must open somehow. What is that? It was some kind of lock. Another way out of here. Come on! What was that noise, Shepard? Sounded bad. 
Kevin, we're all right. Good. Didn't want to dig you out. Well, that hurts my feelings, Grant. Yeah, yeah. making sure we could make it to the central chamber. Come on. <laughs> Shepard! <laughs> Looks like the last message. He's asked that it be delivered to an Asari named Araba on the Citadel. I think I may know this Krogan. Krogan. If I, because I played it before, and this was probably the Krogan that was doing poetry to that Asari in Mass Effect Two. You had the option of telling her to break up with them or just to stay together. Oh man, if that's the case, what a sad end to that guy. He probably left one more bit of pro poetry before meeting his fate. But that's something I gotta show off for the next one. I don't need that. I'm just gonna be using my assault. Another hall, Shepard. Expect trouble. The way that we came, goodness gracious. Ah. There's moments where I wish I had a map. 
even though I do got one and I'm pressing start. I don't need a bit. Okay, I think I need a bit more. I don't know if Edie attacked it. I believe they're breeding an army down here. They reproduce very quickly, and this is a perfect place to hide them until they're too strong to stop. I agree. And they're throwing everything they've got at us to so reach the nest. That wasn't webbing stopping us. That was Reaper Tech. We ran into it too. The Rachni have backed off for now, but they can smell our wounds. Any worthy enemy would regroup and finish us. Soon. We're close, Grunt. Those barriers were protecting whatever's down that passage. We'll dig in here, kill anything that moves. Buy you some time. Good luck. I don't need luck. I have ammo. Krogan, get ready! More eggs. Take it slow. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
What is that? Grunt, we've located the central chamber. Good. We got your back, Shepard. <laughs> The power node. The power node. Oh my goodness, what are they supposed to do? Okay, I'm not supposed to have them. There must be more power nodes on the other side. Copy that.
The Reapers did this to you? Yes. The sour note of the machines is everywhere. I let you go back on Novaria. You promised not to interfere anymore. The Rachni were supposed to disappear. We remember. We kept our promise. Retreated back through the relay. We started a new home. Beautiful children. Harmony. Harmony. The Reapers enslaved you, used your children for war. The machines cannot control us, but they caged us. I gave your kind a second chance back on Novaria. But here I am in some cave, dealing with you again. We can still be whole. Our song can be heard again. The children return. They will destroy us all. Really fast. We're getting movement here. A lot of movement. Copy that, Grud. Give me one good reason I shouldn't just walk away. The machines make us slaves. We will fight really fast. She's badly wounded. She needs time to escape. Shepard, we're out of time. We stay here. Our lack company dies. Is that clear? Listen up. Arlac Company holds the Rachni off while the Queen escapes. I've saved you twice. You work for me now. Grunt, fall back to our position and lead us out. Damn you, Shepard! I'm leaving my team! On my way! Commander! That's an order! She's too valuable an asset to lose. The aura would have had some words for her. Shuttles down that path. I'll hold them off. Get out of here, Shepard! Cortez, we're the last ones out. Copy that, Commander. Shuttle is waiting. Grunt! Anybody got something to eat?
I'm reviewing a report on the Rachni situation, Commander. This could have gotten complicated fast. I hope you know what you're doing, cutting a deal with the Rachni Queen. We got burned last time. I'm trusting your instincts, Commander. We can count on her support, Admiral. I hope so. But we cut the Reaper supply of new Rachni troops and picked up some additional Krogan support. I call that a victory. I've got to get back to it, Commander. Watch yourself out there. Hack it out. Shepard, you made it out of there. Sounds like I missed a hell of a fight. Mm. Better you didn't risk it. We were lucky to get out of there alive. Knew you could get it done, Shepard. I heard you made some kind of deal with the Rachni Queen. If they get out of hand again, it's your ass on the line. Understood. I heard Grunt managed to get out of there with a few scratches. You could say that. We'll get him patched up, back in the fight. Good to hear. I should get back to it. Keep me posted, Shepard. Now we have Alien and Krogan. Still, it's not enough. play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. If I'm gonna play a game, I need something a bit more exciting. Well, I doubt it compares to lobbing a grenade at a charging Krogan. Few things do. But it also results in fewer broken bones. I thought for the moment in that last mission I would have accidentally got him killed. Thank goodness I did not. Hey Esteban, for your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looked. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Yeah. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. Dang, they It's so much money. I don't need the thermal clip. I need another pistol, though, that's for sure. I need that one. I need the eagle. that dude? Oh, there he is. He's probably say hi to him. Lola? You see that Krogan female? Huh? 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 Up close and personal. I think the male's got the pretty gene. You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. I'll talk to you later. You bet. Mm -hmm. 
these guys are all the way back here. Do, 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 do. You know, I just realized something. Where's the... There we go. Only because I never... Like, I mean, the thing that I mainly have in my head is this little scanner thing, and I don't often see it. Wait, is that... Do I got any emails? Don't worry, Edie. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. While this body has olfactory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh. Well, lucky you. How's Grunt? Our little tank baby's all grown up, huh? Apparently he'll be on his feet and killing again in no time. Well, you learn from the best, Commander. Every time he incinerates someone with a shotgun and does that little laugh, he'll think of you. Edie says it was Rachni down there? Yeah. I thought they were on our side after you saved the Queen on Novaria. It wasn't her fault. She got captured. She's with us now. Until the next time the Reapers sing a sour yellow note of whatever. <laughs> Commander. Alrighty. So I'm just gonna end it there. For the next stream, there's gonna be a lot more stuff to do. And it's going to be longer than this one. Because I'm going to be curing the Genophase. Genophase, I'm going to be doing a lot. i got to do some research on making sure that everyone needs to stay alive as much as possible. But till then, I will see you guys on the next stream. Later, later.